Hey everybody, so um, I uh, if you if you watch my channel, right, you probably know that I'm a big fan of uh, Call of Cthulhu and Delta Green, but I also use Notion constantly for all kinds of things. I use it when I go to the grocery store and I need to cross things off my grocery list, you know, and make sure that I grab the milk and bread and all that stuff. Um, but I use it all the time for like writing and um, keeping track of things in games. Like uh, let's say that you have a long campaign and then there's a lot of moving parts, like there's different locations and there's lots of NPCs and there's, you know, different kinds of organizations and different people belong to different organizations and, you know, uh, so on and so forth, right? So Notion is an awesome tool. It's a free online database. Um, and it, um, it uh, just helps you keep everything organized. So in all of the time that I've been uh, playing or running Call of Cthulhu, um, these are some of the things that have come up. Um, like uh, I have the in, in my world, I have um, like NPCs, uh, paranormal organizations, uh, some of my adventures, uh, and then I just keep all of my notes in these things. And some of these are going to be the, my adventures that I've written, and then some of them are going to be things like uh, Camp Sunny Lake is kind of like a, is a, is a classic you know, Call of Cthulhu adventure, but I, um, I, I kind of modified it, you know, like it changed some things so I could run it how I want to. Um, but, uh, so, but let's say that you're running a game at your, you know, friendly local game store, and then you, you say to your players, yeah, like you have your, um, your, your gun room, um, you can go into your uh, gun collection. You can grab like a rifle or a shotgun or a pistol or something like that. Um, and then they uh, they say, okay, well, I want to grab a um, I want to grab a, a shotgun, right? So I've actually gone in, and because I've I've run lots and lots of games, right? Like uh, I'm doing one right now that's gaslight setting, right? So I went ahead and made a um a drop down like a like a a uh Victorian era kind of weapons table for specifically like firearms and things like that that people would have access to in Victorian England, right? Or I could say uh, I could pull up everything or just melee weapons and could say, you know, what does a, what does a taser do? Or if I, if, if somebody says, oh, I want to grab some brass knuckles, you know, I can find something that's appropriate. So I spent a lot of time just kind of filling these out and stuff, you know, like putting, plugging stuff into these databases so that I have it. And then if I, if I grab something new, like if there's, I don't know, like a, a spell, you know, or something like, um, there's, there's some spell that somebody in the game knows how to use, right? Then I just put, put how that spell works, like the mechanics, the, um, the, the casting time and, um, how many sanity points it costs and, and so on and so forth, right? Just so that I can have it all in one place and just look at it at the touch of a button. So, um, yeah, I, I went ahead and um, I, uh, I was starting a new game. I was starting a new Delta Green game where I'm a player. And I started to make a new database. And I thought I should make one of these for everybody, <laughs> just a template. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. And I kind of copied, um, this, this is AI generated art assets. Um, went ahead and, and made pretty much a copy of my database and then um, just left it blank so that you can go in and you can um, just plug in everything that's related to your campaign and use it how you want to. So I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit of how it works. 
Um, so down here we have the root game database, right? And uh, in the root game database, it's just a catch all. That's where everything goes. Everything that I've, uh, every single thing that I've entered into here goes into the root game database. And then you might notice, you might see some of these, um, these tables like uh, the uh, base chance. Um, if you're doing a fighting brawl and you're using your fist, uh, I forget what the, the base chance is. It's, if I want to say it's like, you know, 25, like off the top of my head. And then damage, um, I think it's like 1d4 plus damage bonus or something like that. So, um, but, uh, and, you know, and melee. Uh, so these, a lot of this stuff is related to, like, weapons and stuff like that. And then I can go in here into the common era and say, yeah, people always had their fits. Yeah, forever and ever. Um, but, so, this is just going to be everything, everything. And I actually went in and I, I found, um, I went on to Chaosium, onto their website, and I grabbed a copy of their uh, system reference document. The, um, the, the, what do they call it? The, hmm. The battle refer or the uh, yeah, they 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 basic role playing system yeah the the Chaosium basic role playing system. So I went ahead and grabbed a copy of the the Chaosium basic role playing system, and then I grabbed some of the things out of here. So this is all, you know, part of their SRD, part of their um, their public domain stuff. That if you want to, you can publish third-party content and you can sell it and you can license, you know, it, you can make it compatible with Call of Cthulhu. Delta Green, you cannot. Delta Green is actually kind of more protective of their IP. Um, you can, they do not allow people to make third-party content and sell it, period. And in fact, you can't publish things and call it Delta Green uh, or Delta Green compatible. Um, be, uh, they're they're more protective of their IP. Uh, so, but anyways, so what I did was I, I went in and I put in some, I put in like a, a few kind of reference um, weapons, right? So um, like a, a fist, uh, a burning torch, a small knife, a pistol, and then these are just kind of generic weapons. And um, how this works is that everything uses the tag system. Um, so all of this stuff, all you know, the 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 everything that's in here is is going to be into the in the um, the root game database. But if I make a new, um, if I click on here and then make a new thing. Because there's a filter on the weapons table, right? There's over here, this filter is that it has to have the tag weapon in here. I, I know, or the, the database knows that if I make a new entry into here, it's, it has to have the weapon tag. And then, if it, and then if I switch over to melee weapons and I say new, it has to have the tags weapon and melee. And then, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you, same thing with like an 1890s weapon. It knows that um, it has to be it, it, in this drop down here. It has to say it has to be in the common era or sorry. It has to be in the 1890s, right? Um, and the same thing with, uh, with armor. Like um, this is from the the... Uh, system reference document for Chaosium. This is what uh, a bulletproof vest, the, what the stat block is for a bulletproof vest. And then they just have some kind of examples of, of different stuff from their, um, you know, from, uh, from their system reference document. There's no spells or anything like that in here, and there's no monsters. 
um, because those are those are something that's more kind of protected IP kind of stuff. For it doesn't matter who, if it's Dungeons and Dragons or Call of Cthulhu or whoever, they're going to be more protective of their um, monsters, their stat blocks, you know, things like that, right? So, um, but I did it, did fill these out a little bit. Um, I have this is the the uh, game master screen. Like, there's some examples of stuff in here. Like, um, if you're using, if you're doing melee. And then um, uh, somebody tries to hit you with a sword, you have a chance to parry, even if you're using like a shotgun, you know, or something like that to try and block them or, or somebody's coming at you with a knife and you, you're trying to sort of block them from doing whatever is stabbing you. Um, you have a chance to parry or, any, you know, anytime somebody is shooting at you, you can't block the shot. Um, unless it's like an arrow and you have a shield, uh, you can't block the shot, but you can dodge. You can try and jump out of the way of somebody shooting you, but you have to be aware. You have to see the, the direction that it's coming from. So I have some, some notes in here, um, different things like that. Um, but you know, where, where the, uh, the rubber kind of meets the road is, um, if, uh, if we go in here and, uh, I'm actually going to add... I'm going to add a new thing into here. Uh, I'm going to add uh, locations. Um, so I'm going to turn this into a page. And then if I go into here, into locations, um, I, can, I can make a blank page. Or I'm going to go ahead and do a table. And then I'm going to make a copy of the root game database over here. I've got my uh, Call of Cthulhu root game database with everything that's in it. Um, and then um, I'm gonna make uh, a new, um, uh, just a, a new, I'm just gonna make a new entry. And I'm gonna say uh, sample location. And I'm going to make a new tag on here that says location locations or location, and um, and then basically, you know, this is this is the thing where it really helps you to keep track of everything that's going on in your world. Um, we could say whatever we want about this this place. It's you know um, a small town. Uh, on on the ocean in Oregon, um, uh, reminiscent, yeah, uh, uh, think uh, Twin uh, Twin Peaks, right? So that's that's going to be my sample town, and then I can go over here and I can modify this table. And say this is going to be my locations, and then I can put a filter on it, and then I can go down here and select the tags, and and then go ahead and say location, and it's going to filter out everything else except for anything that has the the tag location. So um, that's how you uh, use this thing, uh, kind of short and sweet. And, you know, if you uh, kicked in a buck <laughs> on um, DriveThruRPG, thanks a lot. And if you're one of my uh, subscribers, thank you. So, uh, so yeah, that's going to be it. And uh, take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one.